You ain't shooting with Love City, I don't know who you shooting with. Don't even yeah. take my animal, fist What's the word? What's the word, man? Man, welcome back, man. Welcome back. <laughs> Love from the Trenches, episode eight, man. Y'all know what the fuck it is. I mean, I mean got that. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Sounds hey, 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 man. We got, we got, a, we got, a, we, got a, we got a special guest in the building today, oh, man. Tree? Special motherfucker, not you, man. Tree, T. Sam's in the building, oh. man. What's the word, man? Yes, yes, yo, yo. Yo. Hey, B I T C H. Hey, let me throw this disclaimer <laughs> out there, you know, <laughs> bro. <Yo. laughs> Let me throw this disclaimer out there. Calm down, y'all. Y'all, 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 y'all going crazy in the back, oh, bro, man. I like they never seen light skinned guy. Oh, man, let me throw this disclaimer out there, man. Whatever, you know, somebody say, man, this ain't got nothing to do with me, man. Oh, God. I'm going to just say that. <laughs> oh, God. Just say that. Yeah, we're going to get to that. You 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 had an interesting, uh, you know, we usually check in, everybody see how their weekend was. We're going to start nah, with you, sure. man. You, you, you had an interesting uh, uh, week this past week, huh, man? Nah, for sure. Uh man, I've been going viral shit right now, man. Like for I don't know, I wouldn't say for the wrong reasons, but man, for uh, shit, just uh, speaking my truth, I say shit, you All know, right. like shit, just letting it out. But I just hate it have to be, you know how it have to be. But you know, I just have to speak my truth. Um, and shit, just oh, now I want to put my face out there and really show my creativity. You know, show what oh, I could bro. do. And right, that's what's up, man. We right definitely, way. definitely appreciate you uh, being on the podcast today because I know I never seen you before because I just knew that's the so. name. Definitely yeah. know your work. You know what I'm that's saying? So. so I appreciate you getting getting in front of the camera with us, man. Yeah, because so I'm usually in the back. Glad you're here, bro. Yeah, I'm usually in the back with them, you know, like <laughs> them, man. And for everybody that don't <laughs> know, okay. just, you know, just let them know, you know what I'm saying, what you do, who you worked with. Oh, all right. So my name is T. Sims, you know, um... I work, um, I shoot on music videos and stuff. I work with, uh, like, other content creators out of the city, um, like, working on, uh, like, Skinbone and other people, uh, like, Rico, for Lowdown, Hank, um, a little bit of everybody, artists, uh, like, Chicago artists. Um, you know, I just, I don't know, really just been working, you know, trying to push my, you know, creativity to the next level now. The right way. Um, oh, bro. Yep. You know, I've been in the music video scene for about like seven years. So, um, I s- just recently switched over to like you know doing like content. You know, as far as like YouTube and other stuff, and just learning is you know, uh, like you can make money in different ways other than you know like music videos and yeah, stuff. For sure. Yeah, you for definitely sure. been out here putting in work, bro. <laughs> nah, for sure. I definitely appreciate it. I definitely appreciate it. I ain't gonna lie. Cause it be sometimes it be feeling like you know like people don't be knowing what I be doing sometimes like I oh be God. you know I appreciate it too and it just <laughs> so I appreciate it too because I mean, it's just like giving you know some you know like people you know something to watch all the time basically you know so that'd be my main thing just trying to produce some good content for people that's for what's sure. up bro Tree the right what's way. the word man what's the word how your week been man my week it was decent uh wrapping up this project at work. Uh, hit the studio yesterday. I ain't been in the studio in a minute. Yeah, y'all think I only do comedy, man. Real loud hip hop artist. Oh, but bro. that's pretty much it, though, man. We back here. All right. <laughs> oh, bro. Mr. Uh, Beasley, <laughs> you had a hell of a week yourself. The champ. I'm the champ, baby. <laughs> the hell? What, yeah, the, man, what, the, you know. what the fuck? Ha- what? My bad. What uh, What happened with you? Skin bitch. Week, man? Um, it was, man, it was just a lot of, a lot of defending going on. You know, I got to defend this title. I gotta defend my name and I gotta defend all the smaller content creators, you know. So <laughs> you know, I just had fun with uh doing that and man <laughs> I just be having fun, man. That's all that, that that's all I do. That's dope. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, bro. Hey, Izzo. What's the word? What, six days away? Huh? What's yeah. going on, man? What's what's happening in six days, man? Fight yeah, day. Dude. Fight day, six days away. Y'all know, you know, y'all gotta tap in, y'all gotta tune in, man. For the hey, I, I heard they switched your opponent. I heard you got your opponent coming in from overseas. Yeah. Where you coming from? Uh, United Kingdom. So you coming from oh, England? No. England, yeah. Wait, ain't this the same thing? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. He coming from England, so you know, we're gonna see. You know, we're gonna see what man, the hype look, about. You bloody fool. If you ain't got your tickets, man, what you waiting on, man? We still got tickets available, thirty-five dollars, fifty dollars tickets, man. Grab your ticket, come show up. Why my love. ticket was eighty dollars then? Cause you got the VIP. <laughs> you got the VIP. Oh, they coming to give me the limo? 
Hey, nah, nah, though. pickup truck. Oh, like how they change your fighter though? Like they could change they got, your fighter. Well, like, yeah. So, so the person they had me fighting, I guess he just like he didn't want to fight, so he dropped out the fight. But they lined up like three to four people for me beforehand. Yeah, cause you got like, it's it's like that even with like if Javante Davis or Mayweather were to fight, they yeah. got two two to three people already ready for that fight in case something happened. Okay, so okay. Got so this your, uh, what, fourth fight? Fourth fight, yeah. I'm yeah, so Izzo, the last three fights, he knocked everybody out in the first round. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you, it's hard to find people to fight, you know, especially yeah, like nobody want to nobody want to. Yeah, no, nah, they ain't forget that. Really. So, people be, so people be training <laughs> just in case somebody drop out? Yeah. Damn. Bro. I never heard of a plan B fighter. Yeah, you know, when you're mm-hmm. a professional fighter, you're supposed to be – in Look, shape, you know that little Mexican that um Javante Davis fought that Pitbull Cruz. Yeah, yeah. he was a Plan B fighter. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, he wasn't supposed to him. fight him. Oh damn. And Tank almost lost to him, on bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> damn, that shit crazy. Yeah, so yeah, like, mm. you know, almost I, lose to somebody you wasn't supposed to fight is crazy. I right, so when you like uh training like for that fight and stuff like don't you gotta watch their fights and stuff like that and like you know train. Yeah, but I don't know, really. People. I don't really watch. I don't okay, watch okay, people because. Okay. They not gonna fight me the same that they fought somebody else. I know that for a fact in the gate. Cause I hit hard. I hit hard and I'm fast as hell. Uh, so you just get out there and really see how they fight first. I like, mean, I watch some boom and I'll be yeah. like, okay, but yeah. I don't do all that fucking dissect them. That shit. Nah, yeah. I seen this man swing at somebody. Didn't even look like he hit him. I don't think he, I still still to this day I don't think he hit him. <laughs> and the man just fell. No, I thought, no, it was a body so shot. Saw, uh, it was a body shot. So you know uh, that yeah, should be yeah, delayed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was yeah. that. That said delayed. Too. That was that. Huh? He was like, <laughs> dude was like, yeah, nigga, yeah. <laughs> just fell. I'm like, damn, damn. <laughs> deleted his ass. Hey, hey, it's <laughs> over. <laughs> Life energy deleted out of his ass. Since you since you went pro, uh, has it? Have you got like, have a motherfucker, has a motherfucker like landed a nice shot on you yet? Like, yeah, oh, yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. My second fight when I shout out to um. When I shout out to uh Philadelphia, they flew me out to Philadelphia, and I was last minute fight. But yeah. I, I wasn't no B fighter. They just called me and was like, "Hey, you um man, you 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 think you could come take this fight? But you are gonna be B side and we gonna pay you." So B side is like the person that that's not their hometown. Yeah. They they really like the opponent for everybody. Like if you look on FanDuel, they got the person that's supposed to win. So he was supposed to win. Yeah. Fight start. I'm okay. My coach like hit him with. Hit him, hit him with a one two. So I come out, I boom, boom, drop him. I'm damn. damn. He get up. You know, you, you gotta finish the motherfucker. Oh, I go finish him off. Boom, 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 boom. He boom out. Oh, my coach like, put your hands up. I'm damn. I'm put the motherfuckers <laughs> up. I ain't gonna lie. different, right? Cause <laughs> that shit different. Yeah, as right. hell. Amateur, you got the headgear on. Yeah, so that yeah, was like, yeah. I took my shit. Red, it was a red bump on my shit. Immediately, <laughs> like, oh damn, he just. Like welcome to the oh, big league. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, said, I'm welcome, man. little nigga. Yeah. I got his ass out of there though. <laughs> Bro. Yeah. So, bro, what up, bro. Son, son? That's what's up, man. That's what I was tell. Hey, hey, B, what's the word, man? Shit, chilling, man. You know what I'm saying? I know yeah. it was. It was about 80 degrees outside, so I already know what you was doing today. Yes, sir, man. If you I'm ain't riding, you ain't riding. Yeah, riding you ain't riding, you had. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've been outside. We been having a good time. You know what I'm saying? The weather changed and everything. But it actually a little scared me too yesterday because like last yesterday it was just like so out of hand. But I almost hit you yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost see. hit him in traffic. Yeah, for real. Yeah, he was bike. riding a little motorcycle. He just popped out of nowhere. I'm like, oh shit. A B. Dre almost hit me today. Turn around, chuck the deuces at him, kept going. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've been good though, man. You know what I'm saying? Just moving my new, new crib and everything, just getting everything together. You know, right. me and my wife. So, but you know. Got to be back here with y'all, you know, since yeah, episode yeah. eight. Let's get it. Yes, yeah, so I've been seeing you uh getting that apartment together, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I had a good opportunity, man, you know what I'm saying? Like uh YouTube, uh, I mean, I mean uh Facebook uh YouTube ain't paid for. I just you know, I mean Damn, that's dope. Blessing. It was a blessing. Yeah. So, I'm you know, still waiting you know, on that. You know, he getting money when he painting in some uh in some Jordans like them Jordans Izzo got on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> yeah, that. You got somebody got to do that it. Paper. <laughs> Leonardo the A B. Dre be popping up out of nowhere. I just bumped Dre twice today. Twice today. <laughs> getting wow, off the they look, getting off the 290. And then like two hours later, I'm about to get on the 290. I bumped into him again. He was he was in, uh on what y'all was you was jogging or something? Yeah. Yeah. So. Are oh, you be jogging around the area too? 
Shit, well, well I mean, walk, I, I, like go DT, oh, I go DT. Yeah, I go to a sure, DT. Yeah, sure, when I'm jogging, I go to a downtown. Like I'm going past all good places. Allegedly, know? yeah, for allegedly. <laughs> yeah, if you be uh, like jogging for like a mile and stuff like that, or what? a mile, man, man, too that, crazy. That ain't nothing. Oh, uh, that ain't nothing. Oh, yeah, man, this man be running around four miles, four miles, four miles so in look, the morning. He had he had his two his two brothers with him, right? So they can't keep up with him. They have to get on a bike because you know Q ball. Q ball weak as hell over there. Yeah. Yeah. Shout, out, shout out my homie Q ball. Yeah. Shout out Balls Q. So I want to see how far I can run. He over there. Nah, he's <laughs> gonna be, like, he gonna be dead. Damn, dead, gang. He smoke yeah. four miles is yeah, crazy as hell. He can do that. And he running fast as hell, bro. Like a sprint damn near for four miles. Like, but ain't jogging. He, he can go from right here to downtown. Hell yeah, that ain't nothing. <laughs> it's all about that. I nothing. could do that. That ain't nothing. I swear. I could God. do that. It's gonna take me some time to get down. Now. Do that shit on GTA, man. I could do that. I'll be stopping this water walk. Yeah. Yeah. You get. got so much motherfucking uh, chicken grease pumping through your it's, it's getting out. It's getting out. Yeah. It's getting out. Hey, <laughs> catch that shit, y'all. Oh, <laughs> Baby. That's going to milk the milk. <laughs> motherfucking I know sweat. what that is. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> motherfucking sweating. It smell like chicken in here. <laughs> That's that fish. Smell like yeah, chicken man. macaroni and, and fucking. Yeah, so we had a good week. <laughs> we, we had a uh, <laughs> <laughs> we had a good week, man, here at, at Love City, man. You know, we had an audition yesterday for uh, for a couple of the roles that we're doing in the series. You know, that it went pretty cool. Uh, we we getting the workshop. We about to do some spring workshops here. Uh, we're going to do some photography workshops. We're going to do some screenwriting workshops. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get ready for our summer program. We're going to shoot like three short films. So I want to have the stories already written. So when, uh, when we start the program, we get right into the production part. Yeah, oh, so. baby gray. Summer program uh, uh, coming up. So did y'all find like two cops uh, yesterday or y'all found one? Uh, one cop? We found one, yeah. Okay, okay. I okay, ain't told okay. the other ones they ain't, they ain't make the cut, but I'm still going to try to like put them in yeah. in the series. Some of the some of the people that came, even though they didn't get that role. Because uh, you know what I, I, I noticed that uh, our page really got like a young following. Yeah. Because. You need probably like somebody older for that because role. Because when I put the age out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, not that many people responded to it because it's like our. But if I put it some some other stuff, like for for the youngsters, it be getting yeah. flooded. Like when we did the, the the our winter program registration, yeah, we had 40 slots, bro. What like in 20 minutes, they Man, all filled up. All we had to add them. more 10 slots, 10 slots more, and they fill right up. We had to turn the link off. You know what I'm saying? Nah, facts, facts. So that just let me know, like our following is like the younger. Uh, a younger crowd, right? Which I think is dope. You know what I'm saying? Nah, so for sure, for sure. And that's why that's why so it, much it, for the youth. That's yeah. why it's that's why I be trying to lock in with people like BZ, like with y'all, because I know I know we can like do some dope stuff with the youngsters and kind of like nah, for sure. show them, you know what I'm saying, how to do the stuff we do, and kind of like highlight their talent because it's, it's some talented ass uh, <laughs> young people be coming to our program, bro. No, facts, facts, facts. Don't nobody know nah, about man, it. Treat, man, don't say after kids, oh, man. Oh, we oh, do oh, this oh, for the kids, <laughs> man, for sure. Who said that? Right. No, no, hey, B. Right. <laughs> Fire, man. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, where, where are you I'm from? Just, man, I'm just <laughs> man. No, that's right, though, bro. <laughs> hey, let's get into it, though, man. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, one of the uh, one of the one of the events that happened this week, man. You know, the police finally released that video. Yeah, they bogus. Of that, yeah. of the guy that got shot. Uh, how many times they let off? They like like 90, 97 <laughs> shots. Yeah, like so 96 that's shots. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Six, man, overkill. Yeah. It's overkill, yeah. And it's like, that's you know, even um, crazy. Think about it. it's like how, how they were saying and everything, like, you know, um, like they shot too many times. They even shot themselves. Like, like police got shot by the other officer, you know what I'm saying? They were shooting, they shot too many times. Is that what happened? Yeah. That what happened? Yeah. I mean, on the tape, it seemed mm-hmm. like, you know, you can see because like, they say the boy shot at the car, but you know he. I mean, I don't see no shooting from him. I see all this going in. there, going in the car. Man, police be tripping like today when I when we was running. Police jump out on cue ball. Dre, jump out on him. Tommy looks shiesty as hell. <laughs> they over jump out on him. Do you have concealed carry? No, no, they no. bounce out on him. The cue. Finna kill him, man. You know what they doing that cue ball? Cause you cut your beard. <laughs> That's why they doing it. Nah, 100. So hey, 100 probably dreads. You feel me, bro? Nah, dreads, bro. I feel like that's the, like, you know, like a reason. And then, I don't know, just depending on, like, bro, they just be scared. For, I just feel like they be just so scared. They yeah, be scared, yeah. though. And what it's like, they don't mean, no, yeah, for sure. And they be like, man, scared certain as hell. And scared like don't, crazy. I mean, scared don't shoot out on them 97. Nah, dollars. for sure, for sure. But yeah. it's just like, a, I don't know how I look at it. I be looking at it like this, like, 
it be like, you know, like if officers come up to the car, you know, it's just certain stuff. Like, you know, like if they see somebody with a shiesty mask, they probably are Dre, already cautious. That, that M- you know, walking up to the, the car. Cards. They need an extra card. All right, so they probably more cautious. You know, walking up to a car that's tinted up. The M- the little oh, you pouch. see somebody with a shiesty mask on. And then you, are you trying to talk to him? But, you know, mother raised the window up. So you not knowing, you know, how many people could possibly be in the car. So you got to think from the officer, but our perspective. And you got to think about it, you know, from his perspective. Because we don't know if he the one that shot a, uh, shot first. So it's like, man, I don't, but, yeah. you know, like certain stuff I want yeah, to speak gotta, about. We, we got to, enter, you know, <clears throat> like stuff come out with well, that. Old girl, who, old girl, the police officer did that, you know, shot it, whatever she would. Yeah. They say she, she fighting another the case from doing that like somebody didn't you know the last time. Oh, facts, facts, facts. Because I don't know. I just feel yeah. like certain situations, man. I just be hating that we be, you know, like putting in situations. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like you know, like you know, cause you got to be on point too, two. cause you in the car. Raise one of them. I, you know, like you. I don't know, like I don't know, like probably how long he was sitting right there for, but it's like you know, like you sitting right there hot. You know, like you don't want to be sitting right there type stuff. I think know, they said they had pulled area. them over. They pulled them over. Uh, yeah, so they put. Then they said they, they like, ain't identify themselves as police. Yeah, for sure. Oh, so how the hell? But I mean, for this Chicago, bro, yeah. you gotta do that. For this Chicago, you have to do that. This Chicago, Just they got like police on and pose and hop around the car, don't like aggressive. The yeah, they be aggressive and scared, bro. so it's like, yeah, yeah I ain't gonna play with my life shit, with man. them though. But at the same time, I didn't, I did her like he went to jail and stuff before, so you yeah, never he, know he what was, trauma he, he got, like he was shit with police case, officers yep. and stuff like that, bro. Like, bro, I'm not gonna go back to jail, but at the same time, you know. Man, y'all know the police. We need the footage from the motherfucker that was on. On like the driver's side. No, the driver's side is the footage we got low key. The passenger Shit, side. And the passenger side. The black the, guy, we got that footage too. I didn't see the black guy's side. Cause if, cause if he shot, that's where it would have came uh, from. Nah, but he got shot. <laughs> right, but he I, I seen him getting out pointing. He got out the car pointing. Who did? The dude who got shot. Nah, but that's afterward. But I don't even think he, bro, like, he just really got the car for it. And they just, you know, still. He got the car with pole in his hand? You know, fine at him, bro. Oh, what you think nah, yeah, bro, they yeah. were just still shooting them down for They it. shot, bro, I, yeah. be based off the way, down, the way the man. cop ran back all scared, I believe yeah. they got shot at first. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it's like, if you shooting at the cops and they six deep, you on a suicide oh, sure. mission, yeah, bro. Yeah, for sure, that's suicide. You know, so and we got to stop, like, it, it's the whole situation's fucked up, right? Nah, for he sure. lost his life, you know what I'm saying? And and you know they they over overreact or whatever. But come on, bro, for real. They definitely did. Oh. If somebody's shooting at you and you got a gun, and you and your homie got a gun, they shooting at you. You just gonna tell me like you gonna tell them put the gun down or what are you gonna do? At that time, for it's sure. kill or be killed. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So we gotta kind of like. But they more so feeling like the outrage of police. Like if you if you if you you choose to be the police, you gotta be ready for this shit. You right. chose to so you can't be in you can't put yourself in the same shoes as the average person. The average person, yeah, the average person probably gonna overkill. You supposed to be level headed in this situation to where you do your job, stop the threat, so and you're supposed to be ass. like a robot. No, you're supposed to be better trained, brother. I or mean, just yeah, be better. I don't know, like I, y'all know, I got a, Shit. I got a daughter. She's a cop, bro. You know what I'm saying? So that's why, like, and it's, it's other people that that's that's their family. You know what I'm saying? So you so, gotta, you can't automatically like, at the gate they wrong. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for sure. But facts is facts. If they they messed up. Hey, look, when I was 16 years old, the police killed my homie right in front of me. So I, I already seen like, I already seen what they can do, what nah, they're capable sure. of. You know what I'm saying? And because of people, how people feel about the police, bro, like, I try to talk my daughter out of that shit for, like, eight years, bro. You know, I didn't want that for her. That's my baby. You know what I'm like? And I already know how people look at the police. Like, I, I hated the police. You know what I'm saying? I just felt like like they could all die. That's how I used to feel. <laughs> now it's different. Uh, so. And, like, but it's her life, and that's, that's the choice she made. You know, so now I just be thinking, like, if that's my daughter, bro, and somebody shoot her, like, sh- shoots at her, I want to, man, take care of your business, like, cause you're going to die, you know what I'm saying? Oh, for sure. If you do, for real. For right. sure, because you want your people right. to come home, bro. But, but it's like, bro, like. Yeah, they people, too. People be forgetting police like people. Yeah, for yeah, sure. So they, 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 family, they, lives. All they doing, trying and, to do. And don't get me wrong, like, when when I came home, right, the policing had changed big, bro, because I'm, I'm like, damn, like, people getting away with 
stuff we ain't used to get away with, like talking crazy to them. Like they used to break, they'll break your jaw back in the day or whatever. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember uh, a few months back, you told me you got pulled over by some cool ass cops. Yeah. How was that situation when you got pulled over? They was over cool. I ain't gonna lie, just over cool, like. <laughs> <laughs> like it was weird almost right yeah oh bro like one time i got pulled up by a, a black police officer young he looked like he looked like he in high school he get out the car yes, i'm like this already he he not he he not you good gang just like that i <laughs> swear to god he you he you good gang i, I ain't even know that i just, exactly. just want to see this your car yeah he you got an id uh, yeah he let me see your id i show him my id he he you cool just be careful put your seatbelt on he walk and off I, and then damn, a young, he be safe on bro I, damn and See? then a lot of a lot of young men that be out here being in the, in the field doing what y'all doing, you know what I'm saying? It's like like you said though, you got a chance of knowing what to do and not what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. so, if a person get out the car with a gun, you know what they're gonna do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if you smart enough, you you put the gun in the car <coughs> and got put my hands up in the air like man, look, I know y'all kill people, man. I'm not, I, I'm, right. I'm, I'm not ready for this right yeah. now. For sure, That's all you gotta so do. If yeah. you gonna be the be the, the, the brave man and jump out the car with that gun, you you already know they thirsty to hound you down. It's, it's no excuse. You know what I'm saying? And you know, like how Tree said, like you don't know, bro. Like some people just don't want to go to jail, bro. No, they and because uh, no, said that. Yeah, like they don't want to go to jail, and you could tell, like they was telling him get out the car. He's probably thinking about, like, man, I don't want to go to jail, bro. No, like sure. I don't want to go back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he, you could because it took him a while before anything jail. happened. Yeah, yeah, you for know? sure. Cause that's what I'm saying. Cause he raised the window up and and type stuff. Like when they was walking up, and it's like all they saw was the shicey man. When I watched from like the video type stuff, and it's like you could have, you know, like. I don't know how it cracked down, but you know how officers be want to put their hand inside your window and stuff. So he like, fuck that, I'm going to raise this up type shit. But it's like, you know, you could have had just some type of conversation uh, to make them feel comfortable like type stuff so they won't be too aggressive. Yeah. You know, true. so now your windows are, they like, damn. But it's, I ain't going to lie. Sorry for the family who lost that loss. Nah, for sure, yeah, for sure. sure. Nah, for yeah. sure. Nah, because nah, it's people like, there, brother. it's still not right because it's an overkill. Like, bro, even not if right. he did, you know, yeah. like shoot one time, bro, you ain't have to. Right. You know, like, like reload like, yeah. down, like, bro, and all that, saying, like, bro. Yeah, that and was the, the same that's thing bogus. they did that's to That's what him. I'm saying. So to be like, I was that's afraid bogus. and that's I was what... scared, and ooh, he's supposed to be trained bogus, for man. that, bro, because nah, yeah, you like, overreacted. Like once he's down and already, like tweaking, bro. he's down, and bro, like my homie that got killed when I when I was a shorty, bro, they did the same thing. I was like, because I'm in the back seat of the car already. They already got me cuffed up in the back seat, and he's like right here, and he's struggling with the police. You know what I'm saying? And after they shot him, I'm telling them like. I'm telling my homie, like, let him go, let him go, because the officer pulled the gun out. And I'm already knowing my homie was scared, bro, so he was holding the, the gun, the arm. But I'm already knowing he just don't want that gun to point at him. So he's holding his arm, and he's not letting go because he's scared. And I'm in the car like, yeah, I'm bro, and they just let him go, just let him go. And then the partner came, you know what I'm saying? And now yeah. the cop's scared because my homie got his arm, you know what yeah, I'm saying? For sure. But you should have never pulled the gun out nah, because sure. he ain't had no gun and he was running away from you, you know what nah, I'm saying? For sure. yep. So crazy. then then he's he told the partner shoot him, shoot him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and the partner yeah. shot him on the, on the side right here and he ended up passing over but but he ain't died right away. He was on the floor still talking or whatever, bro. They came they, you know what I'm saying, cuffed them up all bogey. Like, he all yeah, shot. Sure. It's like, sure. yeah. it's like why are you cuffing them up? They definitely be doing people bogey after they get that shot, shot They'll tell you, well, stop moving. You just shot <laughs> me 12 times. Yeah. Yeah. Ambulance like, taking all move. day, all type of stuff. Just like the last, the last boy that we were talking about right now. Like, you know, after they shot him off, they put him in hand because, like, he already Yeah, heard. and they were still and, talking to him. And like, you know what they, you know what they did, bro? Like, they put bogus charges on me that night just so I don't be no credible witness. You know what I'm saying? They made up some shit that I was doing, throwing throwing bottles or some shit at, at people or whatever the fuck. I was like, what? Like, But they already know. It's like they clicked up. And like, all right, we're going to put charges on him. So in case, if, if he do go testify, he's not a credible witness. Yeah, you know they got saying? like a blue code. They be doing so, dirty shit too, though. I ain't going to lie, bro. Police. They has, got a, they has a gang, too. So they has sure, a gang. Hell yeah. I ain't going to lie. I done been in some shit with the police, though. Like, some real shit. Like, it had been times where the police pulled me over. When I was a shorty, like, they had pulled me over. On bro and just up they straps like I'll kill you like I'm walking. That was that dead. that's how you used to get pulled over back in the no, day. No, I saw a guy yeah, back bro. in the day. That's how that's bro, how they like, used look, to pull you over. Now it's like, excuse right me, on. sir, can I see look, like? Yeah. And I'm like, damn, what the fuck? They nah, because they were stopping yeah, frisk back in the up. days. Like it was real heavy on that. Like bro, like back in the days. I used to ride with my homie. Like, I knew for a fact that the police was pulling us over every time, yeah. gang. Like, because he ain't even had his license. So it's like, 
I'm already knowing, like, we finna hop out the car. They finna search us, but we don't got nothing. And, like, we kids and we cool. And me, I got my license, so I already know if it's the dick boys, they gonna, like, shit, just make me drive or some shit. They gonna be real cool. But if it's the blue and white, I ain't gonna lie. They, I ain't gonna lie. They gonna take I, it, bro. Shit, I, I, they I don't know, know this, look, this, or if they it, cool or not. In case y'all didn't know, this was the routine, right? They pulling, they jumping out, especially they see two, three people in the car. They jumping out, guns pointed at you. Put your hands on the steering wheel with your left hand. Turn the car off. (laughs) Put the keys outside the window. (laughs) Step out the car. The whole time they own you like this. You know what I'm saying? That was on the regular. You know what I'm saying? So now, like I said, I was gone for 10 years. So I seen the difference in policing. Now it's like they asking you questions first. They being nice. They asking, can we can we search your car? So it's different. You know what I'm saying? It's different now. Searching shit. It, 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 so that's why it, that's why it was like, still like it's not like it, yeah, it ain't no. perfect still, and it ain't not never gonna sure. be perfect. It but a lot of people that that uh, it, it's it's a lot of people that bro better be happy like it's police around. You know what I'm saying? Because so. when so, when certain shit happening to you, or a motherfucker whooping your ass, or uh, <laughs> or, or, or some like you better be happy as somebody you can call so they get the, get them people off of, up off you. You know what I'm saying? Because if not, <laughs> yeah. should be crazy, bro. Y'all oh, bro. see Man. During, during the pan- lie, during the though. pandemic, bro. That shit was crazy, bro. It was like the Wild West for real. Yeah, it was. There was a lot of shit happening. But yeah, the fact that motherfucker was still getting killed in the pandemic. Rest in peace, everybody lost their life. Cause I know somebody probably you know watching this. It was one of their family members died, but yeah. a lot of people died over the pandemic, though. So sorry for your loss. Yeah, for real. Like you That's shoot, you shoot motherfuckers when it's a virus out killing people. Bro, that ain't bro, gonna never stop. Bro, yeah, people kill people, wild people in the winter time, bro. When it's Shorty snow is. on the ground, like, nigga, is you cold? Like, come on, bro. Like, like, ain't no stop in Chicago. My, my biggest, my biggest thing about like you know when um I used to always hear like man, like man, my, my, my mom used to say like man, your cousin got shot this morning. I'd be like, man, what time was it? He was like, man, it was about seven twenty. Like the nigga that shot him, did he eat breakfast yet? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he got up and yeah. just went straight mad. I feel like, like that's when motherfuckers get clapped though in the morning. Like, yeah. so. yeah. what? All times, bro. It be at yeah. all times. All this times, shit, man. The city's crazy, bro. Like, oh. Stay dangerous, man. All times, it's a hurt, angry, probably <clears throat> broke motherfucker that's willing to take your life somewhere. For sure. Like, for so sure. Right. And then. Be aware of your surroundings. And then, kind of like what's been happening too, like, uh, it, it was the day that video got released, uh, it was a four year old. A kid that got shot. On he the was Bible. in the on North Avenue. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, just riding in the back seat, bro. Just riding in the back seat and got shot. It was one of the head. first hot. He got shot in the head. Then, uh, in North Lawndale yesterday, a little kid got shot. Back of the yards, uh, a little girl, one year old girl, got shot and died. And three other little kids died. Like an eight. I mean, got shot. Eight year old, nine year old. And it's like. We got to be mad about that too, bro. Yeah, we you know do. What I'm right. Like we, we got to be mad kids. about that too, cause right. it, it goes. It, it reminded me with something that you had said uh, last week, Tree, about uh, how motherfuckers be like, literally trying to be like the rappers or whatever. Mm-hmm. Cause you know it's a lyric that say like something about switching the crowd. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of like what I I think like that's what happened, bro. Like motherfuckers right. just come out. And just switch the whole crowd like stupid as hell, bro. Like, what's wrong with you, man? Like, everybody that's in that crowd ain't into it with Which you. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. And look who you end up shooting, bro. Little ass one year old girl, baby. bro. Like, bro, some of these, some of these rappers and some of these people don't get no fuck for real. They don't care. Nah. Some of these rappers will say they'll kill your baby in their songs and shit. And Catch then, your son and splat his ass. Like, how your we not mad about shit. that? You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's crazy. And then no just fuck. like, okay, I mean, <laughs> I know game ain't gonna never stop in anything like that. If you like, but they they should they should do it like a recruit. Like if you like, you gotta go to go the gun range for you be for you be in the gang or something. You know what I'm saying? Like these people, they they shooting in the shooting at the wrong people right now. Yeah, hell yeah, like hit your target, bro. And 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 you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know, this shit just because the kids don't deserve this. It should be depressing sometimes. Because it be a lot of real. kids that's be out here though. It be like. I ain't gonna lie, these streets is filled with kids with guns. Yeah, bro. They that don't too. be high, you know, it's like. Different. You're that right. too. Shit. So, so you think, like, you know, these streets the big homies these kids. Streets but these streets is filled. Kids out here. These streets is filled with grown goofies that's helping kids get guns, too. You Man. think, you think, like. But these the motherfuckers ain't just getting them on their own. It ain't a, it ain't a 12 year old selling guns to other 12 year olds. So you think, like, like big homies, right? Like, what now it's selling it, their this shit. Now it, at it, them. it's cool. <laughs> it's, 12 hell, you know, the boy. shorties be they be bragging about that. Like, I ain't never called nobody my big homie. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they want that's that's something else that was different, you know, because I grew up in the 90s, bro. And look at this the, the, the murder rate, it was eight 
800, 700, 800 people getting murdered every year. You know what I'm saying? But it seemed like it was a different kind of killing because it was people... Random ass people wasn't getting killed like this, man. Like, it was people that was, like, out here active that was getting killed. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure every now and then an innocent person would get killed. But not like today. And I know the big difference was, like, back then, like, the older dudes, then they ain't used to let the shorties be running around with guns. You know what nah, I'm saying? Sure. Like, they'll For be real. like, man, we're like, what did you own, bro? Like, nah, you're not finna be out here. Like, we gonna go handle that. You know nah, what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. If I remember, my mother told me going to the house, bro, like, like once the stuff was finna go down, like back in the days when I was a shorty. Get like, back in the house, Kim. Like, it's it's like, time to another topic shit. we gonna talk we about. You couldn't even too. hustle like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like so. if, if the big homies was on the block and everything, like, and we, we did school like that. Like, we try to come grab a pack, like, man, what time of year? Oh, you ain't go school today? No, wait, get the fuck off the block then. You know what I'm saying? You ain't working today. Like, them big was big homies then. You know so, what I'm saying? So, you so. think it'd be a good idea if it was more big homies? Yes. Yeah. Where like, they go? Yeah, like. All them half a day. It's just a term. It's just, I don't know, like, young dudes probably don't be liking a big homie term, but it's just like, it's just a big brother, bro. You know, just how you look at it. Like, yeah. I don't know, like, uh, somebody who can, yep. you know, like, can. A value Leadership, to do got good. it. Yeah, yeah. Leadership. You know, like, a yeah, like a mentor or something. Like, a. A lot of people don't be having their fathers in their life and stuff. Right, they like know that, we made so. up. We 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 from the we from the trenches, y'all. We made up terms, y'all. So for the yeah. young people to understand, big homie is just like another term for mentor yeah, for or sure. yeah. or big bro, some shit it, like that. Y'all yeah. looking at this shit like it don't make sure. you it don't make you like less of a man if yeah, you say if you say somebody your big homie. It don't mean he got authority over you, bro. Shit. But everybody needs some type of guidance, bro. Even the people in the streets. And like I said, like, it seemed like it was more. Big homies. Older dudes in the streets back then that are kind of tell you, hey, sure, don't do that because this was going to happen. It's just like, outdated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and like you Big said, homie is just outdated. That's and, all. And like you said, too, though, like, you know what I'm saying? If, like, me and you get into it or, or fighting and stuff like that, you know, I'm going to go holler at my big homie real fast. Right. See, can you squash this? If you can't squash this, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know, you know, big homie, the one that say, man, y'all leave this alone. Man, y'all are brothers for y'all or anything. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Like, it's, it, it was it was somebody usually that you can go talk to, like, hey, who be over there on that block or whatever? Like, who the big homie? You know what they there? call, you know what the youngsters call big homies? And what they don't like, old heads. That's why. Yeah, but that's what's like I now. Don't it's know. like it's a difference with the it, old. It's, it's supposed to be, but my old but, heads the ones that's who what, out of touch who can't do nothing for the neighborhood. That just look. That just goes to show. Niggas, you, that just goes <laughs> to show how drastic the reality is. Motherfuckers dying so young that now, like. Thirty some or even 20, 25 and over, you are you are you you are old head to these young yeah. motherfuckers. Hold on, wait a minute. For real? Nah, you thought you were still young? They living fast nah, as hell. Man, I, I ain't no fucking old head though. <laughs> nah, don't call me no old head. They living I fast. Know. That's how the shorties feel though. They living fast as hell though, shorty. So it's like 14, yeah. 15 year olds now doing shit that we was kind of doing, but they super. They super the big homies shit. now. So man. Like, That's what it is. That yeah, for sure. Strange. Yep, they the ones. But that. how though? They can't be the big homie. You ain't got and shit. A big homie, the, the real. We got, it we don't got matter. The real term, the real term is matter. real live guy to you. It, it depends on who, real who come. Pool like, like, like how the structure shit. was with the with the fucking. Uh, you know, big these shows. I was watching. Bushes. I was watching the, the the shit with the Latin Kings and shit. Like how how they started and how they had structure and then one of the the the, the nigga in charge went to jail, or whatever, yeah. and he was still running shit in jail. Then a, a, a younger person stepped up and he changed every fucking thing. That's just how it is. Like Man, motherfuckers, every motherfuckers change and shit. <laughs> nah, it, I just think it's, it's just like the big homie. It's it's like uh, they they killing the big homies, man. They, right? They, yeah, they, they, they yeah. Because the because I think it's like they think the youngsters got the they're not the big they're the ones that got the influence and they got because you know everything in the streets is about like who's willing to crash out. If you willing to crash out, you <laughs> most likely you got the influence in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Because like. If you ain't out there on the block with them, posted up, crashing out, or doing whatever the hell they doing, they not going to try to listen to anything you saying. And the, the, the older dudes, they old enough to know, like, man, y'all out here on some on some dummy shit, so I'm not even going to be around y'all. Y'all going to get me. Big homies do still exist, my fault. Yeah, you barely, nah. you, you barely trust a friend the right big, Look, the big homies is these little niggas rappers. <laughs> <laughs> the favorite rapper they listen to, that's they big homie. He said, nigga, that's getting a million views. That's, that's the big who, homie. That's yeah. who they, because they that lifestyle, he's saying, shoot a nigga. What you got a gun for if you ain't shooting that bitch? So now, I'm listening to that. Yeah, I'm on the block with all these. I'm on the shit. block with all these niggas. But look, about the, trying, uh, look at the other guys, though, that's, that's pushing peace now. They big homies, too, though. Yeah, and, and I also think, not, I, I think I think like what you what what you talk about it does make it, it the difference, bro. So like them dudes that's pushing peace or whatever. I guess it's people that's like, 
I'm not saying that that's going to solve everything, bro. Not, not one thing's going to solve it, but it does have an impact. This, eh, the good or bad way, because you know, you know damn well, bro, like people just be wanting to have ops. Oh, bro. Just because that's right, the, what the rapper's bro. talking you know what about. I said. Oh, that's what I said. Nah, when we make yeah. this shit not that's cool. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, when we make this shit not cool. That's basically what we're trying to say. It's like they, they influencing what's going on out here. You know what I'm saying? Like. Oh, everybody talking about like my ops, my ops. I want to have ops too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's the youth. Like, like bro, like who's getting yeah. to to for nothing just to have something to let out fake frustration. Oh, that's on they dumb ass. Because there's people <laughs> that got real frustration. There's people that got real enemies. But if you you out here making up fake frustration, you making up fake reasons to hate somebody and want to kill them. That's on them. Okay. You can't blame that on the rappers. The rappers talking about real shit. They talking about who they into it oh, with man. for real. So you want to so, oh, be lying, Are you my favorite man. rapper? All these so, rappers ain't real. So you all y'all ass ain't real. <laughs> Come on, BZ, you too grown for that. <laughs> all they ass ain't real, bro. They'll be talking about real shit. All they ass not I'm real, talk, Okay, B. listen, when they talking about they ops, they talking about real shit. They dissing people that they been into it with. But and, sometimes and, them the niggas that be rapping to be dissing, they don't even be the ones out there sliding for real. Right. They but be that the don't homies. mean that they don't. Be the, they be the but, homies of them niggas. But what I'm saying they'll is, they'll be living in Atlanta, living in, in Las Vegas because they got the money. Top to, ones is not here, already. and the that's main, on your dumb ass. If, if you be like, oh, that's my favorite rapper, so let me let me try to get on the same type of energy on. You finna find somebody that that you ain't you ain't got no ops. Some more of the story. How to mind of your own. Man. Have a mind of your own. Like, like, own. But it's deeper than that, though, bro. Music is brainwashing, bro. So it's hard to have a mind of your own. Nah, for sure. But what you putting in your mind is them now warping your mind all the time. You listen to this shit all day. Look, everybody, I encourage you. Everybody go listen to some fucking church music. No, listen I ain't gonna that. lie. Yeah. Everybody. It do give you balance, though. Game. It do yeah. give you balance, though. But I ain't gonna lie. For I was raised around listening to drill music all the time, but that ain't make me want to go out oh, and bro. go. Right. You know, go murk somebody or something like that. You know, but you know, it just always bring awareness. Like, man, okay, I know it's real out there though. So don't be out there, you know, yeah. like moving like it ain't yeah, real. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all ever heard like people be like, sometimes like a nigga just born like that. I feel like sometimes people really is just born like yeah, that. Yeah, certain like, people. Bro. It's certain people in the world that got that crash out energy, and so yeah, that music bro. gravitate to them. And affect I grew up them. listening to Fifty Cent. I've been wanting to slide. Them with. the warriors though. Right. Them the, you know. everybody. That, everybody that's willing to crash out. All y'all drillers. We need y'all. For the real fight, bro. We need y'all. You feel me? Yeah, you need to take a commercial break. Hey, let's take right, a right, commercial break out. real quick. Man. Crash out on 12. Right. We'll be right back, man. <laughs> See, you don't like the police. I love the police, <laughs> nigga. Coming soon to the Love Cities Network. The streets of Chicago is infested with gang violence, war, and a whole bunch of other shit. It's only one man that can clean up these streets and get the job done. Get on the ground now, nigga! There's nowhere you can hide. There's nowhere where you can go. He's going to find you. And he's going to bring you to justice. Officer Buck Wilder. Coming soon to the Love Cities Network. Get on the ground now, nigga! What you got there? Come here, Nick. Come here. Come here. What you got, Nick? Ain't got shit. You ain't got nothing there? What's that? Drugs. Yeah. Good shit. Give it to him. Give it, take it. You're on the rest, Nick. So I took him to sell and do drugs, man. We out of here. And we're back. We're back. What's the next topic, man? What's the next topic we got to go on? Is it work boo? <laughs> yeah, it's the work boo. Work boo. Uh, yeah, can you elaborate boo. on on the uh, on the term in case people don't know? Elaborate. Oh, work boos. Oh, y'all know what the fuck going on, man. All y'all nine to five workers in the in the blue collar world. Y'all know what's going on. Uh, it be people at y'all jobs that you call your work girlfriend or your work boyfriend. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Is it cool or not? What we talking about? Oh, bro. Who, who anybody up here ever who, had a work boo? Who here got a woman, first of all? I got a wife. I got a couple. I got a woman. wife. I got a, I got a, I got I got a couple a pieces of chicken. I think one of us should go first. A B, <clears> how you feel girl. about uh Marquita? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like Oh yeah. Having, know, having a work be, boo. Yeah, I don't know because I I'm like, you know, I be seeing her come home with like, you know, like some days she'll call me, she's like, babe, I need some money for the lunch or something like that. And and then some days she won't call and she come home with lunch still. And I'm like, man, who fuck about that? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she said her work husband. I'm like, so y'all ain't like, no booze, y'all husbands? 
<laughs> but I mean, the bills get paid, so I can complain. <laughs> uh, <laughs> talking about the bills get paid, and you saving on lunch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so that's dope too, though. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, work bulls. Mm-hmm. I think you need them. Shit, I ain't gonna lie. Damn. Cause I'm gonna tell you why you need them though. You know how like you ever cheated on you ever cheated on your girl and then like after you got cheated and you went to the crib and just somehow you over love her. You appreciate it. You like just over <laughs> just lay with her. You being over nice to her. Then she like <laughs> oh bro, she like why you why you acting like this? I don't need to worry about oh my brother. Hey, you don't even wanna know Some but, like, guys gotta cheat. Feel me, you got you know so appreciate and, what they got. You feel me? Cause I ain't gonna lie, I done cheated. I done don't cheated speak, before. Don't speak for me. <laughs> don't speak for me. Speak That's for me wild as hell. Hey, yo, my brother, I done cheated before. Oh, bro, female, you know who? I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Yeah, it's that breath smell like. <laughs> <laughs> Went to go appreciate my shorty at the crib. I ain't gonna lie. That's dope, is though. Need him, fuck. <laughs> uh. No nah, man, like if I got a girl, I don't want her to have no work boot because all the work boots I had, I didn't. Huh, you feel me? So I already know what's going on with that, and that's all I got to say about that one. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. What up, Dre? What man, up? What you know, up? I'm, I'm married. I'm Latino. It's my lady. <laughs> Fuck no. S A no. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> my wife look good yeah, You know what I'm yeah, saying no, Any, any male it. friend Trying to fuck You know what I'm saying I be like no man You, If he's a man No No Hell no <laughs> She could probably have a work boo If she's like a lesbian or something That's cool nah. You know what I'm saying but Nah hell no nah, Cause I know I know what dudes be on You know what I'm saying Like I used to be a piece of shit before You know so, and you know, like when you say, oh, man, got to cheat. Nah, hell no. Nah. It ended bad for me. I used to oh, cheat. Yeah, it ended nah. bad for me. I was in the, end up, you know, in the room crying. <laughs> <laughs> I got cheated on. Well, I've been cheating for 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Crying because you're getting cheated on. It's crazy. Hey, it's crazy. Know what I was doing. It ain't fun when a rabbit got the gun. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> but I'm just saying, y'all ain't never, y'all ain't never uh, got one off and you was like, damn. You come to your senses. It was you useless. Like, yeah, yeah, me. Like, I, after I, I, I miss my girlfriend. Nah, yeah. I think when I used I to cheat. I appreciate her. When I used to cheat, I was more like. <laughs> I stopped mid cheating left. I already hit her. I was thinking Shit. About it. For real, I was thinking about it too much. I made a fake phone call at my Look, phone game. Yup, yeah, you yep. Yeah, that strike one. You just did it. Your we breath calling stank. the cops. Your breath smell bad. <laughs> my fault, bro. Nah, nah I don't really think like like when I I when I used to cheat on my grandma, it would never know. Damn. Oh, I just did that. I never had no guilty conscience. I used to be in my head like, shit, I already fucked her. I mean, it's the same consequence if I hit this bitch and this bitch. I been wanting to hit this bitch, so I was just smoking they ass. I ain't going to lie. Because, like, you go to rob a bank. What, you only going to walk out with 100000 Hell no. Nah, you going to hit the safe, right? All right, then. I'm broke. Right. <laughs> same consequences. This metaphor is be dangerous as hell. <laughs> Tree, Yo. speak on it. I work with us, ah, <laughs> I, I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I care, but I don't. It's like, I've been through a lot of shit in relationships. I done been overly, I guess you could say controlling. I guess that's what the motherfucker say, but you want to be respected. That's what it really be. You want to be respected, but they're going to flip at that. You control, you want to be all my business. No, I want you to be respected. I want to make sure I'm being respected. I done been on that side, and I been nonchalant, not giving no fuck, because I know what the fuck I'm doing, so you just got a little nigga at work want to like on you and shit, whatever, all right. <laughs> If it if I find out it is that, then get the fuck on. Peace out. Go be with yeah. your work husband. But I don't know. I got a small thing used to call me that shit though. Work husband and shit. I'm like, you used to like it. Nah, I never really <laughs> care about it. <laughs> about, nah, damn, all the meals. Never yeah. really care about it. Tricking <laughs> off and shit. It ain't really matter. I ain't never about no lunch. Yeah, all right, stop <laughs> job by us lunch. <laughs> <laughs> The job bound us lunch, dead ass. So I gotta we get a good lunch of that motherfucker. T Sims waiting well, over there, like he said, man. Like, no, I I my, girl got a, my girl, I don't got real about no work, but she work out of the crib, do her so and stuff yeah. like that. You know? What type of hell she? That's even know. better. What type of hell? She she be braiding. That's even better. Yeah. So, but what if she worked at an office? What if the head vendor was a dude? I mean, what if the head vendor was a dude? I mean, if he, you know, like you know. If he ain't got no sugar in this thing, he shouldn't be around my girl, like around the hair business and stuff For like sure. that. You know, <laughs> what, if, money is what if money. your girl? No, nah, I'm saying like, what if your girl like a masseuse or something? That's different. Now. I ain't gonna lie though, that's different. <laughs> it hit different. That's oh, different that, though. That but do hit different. That's different though. Yeah, Rubbing niggas down with oil. Cuba, what you over there laughing? How that's you a, feel about this, Cuba? <laughs> 
How you feel about work, boo? And I'm asking him, his girl right next to him. Y'all can't see, but he got his girl right next. How you feel about she was at work, got a little work, boo? She said something stupid. Huh? It's over with, <laughs> right? It's over yeah. With. yeah. Ain't no none exactly. of that. Ain't none of that. No, no sure. Nate. It's over with. And about how how would you feel if he had a uh, little sit, little work situation? Six. Not happening, right? Yeah, look, see what I I'm ain't saying? Gonna... like that. You asking for, to, in my opinion, you asking for problems, bro. Especially like if no, both right. people are attractive, man. What you think is gonna happen? You got two attractive people around each other you all the time. Fuck, you like, gotta bro, fuck bro. somebody because they look good. Yeah, bro, oh, oh, my fault. Nah, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Yeah, hey tree, hey, yes. hey tree, look at <laughs> you, like look tree. You know how you said the controlling part? I ain't gonna lie, female abuse." Try to say I was controlling because look, on my brother, she went to college to do waxes. <laughs> Hold on, you tweaking? I tell her so. You gonna be waxing she like went to college, oh, the waxing? She went to <laughs> vaginas, right? Oh, oh niggas get waxes too. So right, I right. asked her if a nigga want to wax, but she's like, I mean, it's all professional. No, <laughs> it's cock. You tweaking on my brother? <laughs> Shit, over there, <laughs> bro. Ray, you, you crushed her college dreams. <laughs> so you brother. going to college to be a and then what if you veterinarian? Know what if we don't know about my it? brother? That bitch wants. What if your girlfriend at the house? I mean, if your girlfriend at work don't tell you about her work, boo. Bogus as hell. Yeah, that, <laughs> I guess if I don't that's know. That's when it's automatic weird. suspect. That's when it's yeah, boom. That's when it's red flag. I mean, but how would you know though? Like you know, she got a. Oh, you ain't gonna never know. She could just say it though. A real your, your, your girl for real. She could just say it. You come pick her up. You see the nigga looking for who the fuck is that? Oh, it's just. He's like my little work husband. I ain't, I ain't tripping. Oh, hell no. Nah. Somebody gonna say something. He ain't gonna she, tip me. She could. Ain't tip me shit. Because I'm uh, uh, over the door. You gonna bust his dog. I'm gonna hug his dog. Bust his ass. <laughs> yeah. He gonna bust his bust ass. Bust his ass. My brother. You gonna bust, bust his ass. ass. Because he like your girl. Yeah. yeah. And, okay, first of all, tweet. Sound like we, a threesome we, we, to we me. We both men. And we both been, you know what I'm saying? There was one on. Ain't nobody at, at work is not called, you know, work boot and not hit you before. Come on, man. Or not, hey, hey, but I call work boot in my, in my old job when I was here at work, I hit. <laughs> That's what I just said. Now, look, though, what, what, do, what do they shit. say? What do they Allegedly. say? What do they say? Fear <laughs> is respect. You better beat the brace off his ass on my brother. Now, he fit me, so he going to respect you. He ain't going to say nothing to you. <laughs> no, for sure. He said for sure. Is all locked up, man. Forgot, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you are watching live toxic masculinity. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucked up. He fucking oh, wild as hell. I guarantee you. Don't, you don't gotta. Hey, shorties out here, man. You don't gotta beat a nigga ass just to like your girl. If this is my baby mama or my brother. Ain't none of that. Jackass dude <laughs> like your girl. You don't gotta beat his ass. And can I say one yeah. thing though? Because mm -hmm. I, I want to like you know. what I'm saying? But if you, you feel me, this heavy is heavy because like you know, I've been through a lot. You know, like when I was growing up, you know, what I'm saying having girls and everything and everything, but. Some women out here got real husbands and real men, and I be putting Gucci all over their face. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> Gucci? I'm about swear. Wait, what? Wait, Gooch? Wait, what Yo, is that? Gucci is fucking crazy. What the fuck? <laughs> what is, what is, what is the Gucci? It's the bottom of your balls. Nah, man. <laughs> hey, you what? You put Gucci juice on their nose? That, that's the bottom of your balls or, or the top of your ass crack. Which one is it? <laughs> <laughs> Statements made on this podcast do not reflect the items of House of Tree. For y'all know how y'all hit a nigga well. bitch, and then you specifically saying, you my no, bitch, right? And she just, shit, yeah, I'm, oh <laughs> my God. That's when I started getting trust issues on God. Because I ain't know my baby mama was nasty, nasty what she, as she was, so she got another nigga, nigga show me. Oh, oh that's shit. wild. That's wild as hell. Showed you what? <laughs> hey, yeah. What did he show you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, boy, stop tweaking. What the fuck? <laughs> he sent you a yeah. flick? He sent you a flick? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. You watched the whole thing, too. You can't do it like this. Oh, my this. brother, I ain't gonna lie. I had, a, I, had a, I had a female. Nigga, I had a motherfucker send me a video of them hitting the bitch I used to talk to on bro. That's that. This is our bitch. Ah. Wait a minute. What the fuck? I know that dude looking yeah. ass. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's just like on Facebook now. It's more porn than coming to your palm. That's zesty as hell. All I gotta do is, uh, all I gotta do is hit, hit the link and view. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, those, those videos. Twitter, bro. Twitter, dangerous, Twitter, yeah. boy. You can't scroll on Twitter no Twitter more, bro. I ain't know Twitter was like that. Twitter is song. like that. Now I, got, now I got three accounts. Why well, do you just call X hey, <laughs> I never thought about yeah, that. That's why it's called X now. Yeah. Because it's X rated. They it's on that bitch point. freaky as hell. Elon Musk, a freaky. You a freaky. <laughs> hey, somebody put in. in, in, in uh, Android built motherfuckers. Built somebody like comment on one of, one, of the, one of the posts about the podcast this week. They saying uh, we need to have a female on the podcast for like these type of conversations, right? Because there's all dudes talking. 
They're yeah. like, you need to you need to have a female on there. Give no, her a female perspective. That's dope. Yeah, that's we need right. to find one. So because I know. definitely want to know. Yeah, yeah. But then she. Uh, I think she, he'd be Baby D though. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah. definitely break a different perspective on you know, like from a woman perspective. Hell like, yeah! Like do y'all hoes still dush? Oh no, nah, she ain't gonna live that. Oh, you gotta watch that. Hey, but what that is, dush? What the fuck is that? <laughs> You know, the, the, the dish, it was like a, like a, a little bottle I used to suck on, but... <laughs> Whoa! Oh, what the fuck? Was... Hey, what the fuck? See, y'all must be young for real, but it, it did Emotional like a bottle. Emotional damage. No, it, it, it looked like a bottle, though. You know what I'm saying? It had like a little thing on it, like a bottle, though. They used to stick it in it and dish themselves. Dush they said it was yeah. crazy like, as hell what you, what the, to clean what you mean, a. Uh, what you mean, dude? What? They're basically, a power washer for the cook. <laughs> what <laughs> the Whoa. fuck? <laughs> but they don't use them no more. They said they don't use them no more. I'm like, that's yeah, my power that shit ain't washer. Good for them. Crazy oh, the first got got three thousand there. Huh? Mm-hmm. What yeah. the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I used to think it was quarter juices though. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> hell no, man. Hey, man. Uh, <laughs> hey, who the uh, busy? Who, who the dumbass of the week, man? Man, the dumbass of the week, man. It, it's two people. It's it's Justin Bieber, dumbass, and and Jaden Smith, dumb dumb dumbass. Will Smith, dumb 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 dumbass. Um, bro, that God man was damn. that man was behind that man doing like this. Who? Then like he turned like this, and then he turned he turned around, seen who it was, and kissed the man on the cheek, man. Yeah, they guys. Who? But you know, uh, that's J- how brothers. That's how brothers. Jaden Smith, was Will how, Smith's son yeah, went behind Justin Bieber, Bieber, dancing with him. I don't know. No, he, he was humping on him. Humping on him. He was humping on him, bro. And then how old was the video? This was just it just happened, and and Justin Bieber turned around and seen him with him and kissed him on the oh, cheek. Wow. But the injury is different though, man. Justin. People always say like we we, we looking at it from the other way. Like I'm not gonna get rich and then be with all that. No, like that's that's something different over there, it's man. It's crazy. They act a weird, weird, weird. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, P Diddy, come get your kids. Man. <laughs> you got to be involved. You got to be involved oh, in, in freakos. Man, I'm good. I be put in. I ain't gonna lie. Justin Bieber been getting it bad from a lot of people. Damn, bro. bro. He what was so happened talented, to him? bro? Like, like P Diddy, man, he looks stressed like, out. Like even when he was younger, like coming up, it's like the people who used to be interviewing him used to be yeah, bro. saying crazy stuff oh, to him, wow. like asking like sexual questions while he was a shorty, like. Yeah. Oh, oh me like his whole uh, I don't know growing and up his own parents right his Grace. own parents yeah. used to be like fucking him out his of money and shit basically yeah for like, sure I'll you this ass to the ass yeah for sure yeah. like yeah. even like put him with P Diddy all type of stuff like yeah. go with P Diddy you you be Diddy oh, bro, he didn't. He didn't. <laughs> y'all don't know this nigga P Diddy what the fuck. Oh, well, they don't, well, they know him now. Yeah, y'all just crazy. such y'all kids to, the, to this man. <laughs> that be the, the parents be so thirsty. That was for, wild for, to say a humping that grown ass man like that though. Nah, for sure. That was crazy. I forgot they they grown now. Take that. They're not take kids that, no take more. That, take that, take that. He said, I "Ain't that nobody was recording." <laughs> Bieber ass look like he uh, <laughs> ready to do country music now. Who? Justin Bieber is. Oh. Hey, uh, look like uh, what's dude name? Billy Bob Thornton on Monster Ball. <laughs> Y'all know who Morgan Wallen is? Yeah, I know Morgan yeah. Wallen. You see, he got locked up for, uh, he threw a chair off the roof in, Damn. in, in New Orleans and, and it almost hit a cop. They locked his ass up. <laughs> that's yeah. it, got he, up. that's uh-huh. the country singer that did the song with Lil Durk. That's oh, crazy. okay, with the big ass who's on? Yeah. He threw a chair off the roof. <laughs> yeah, he probably on some drunk, some drunk shit through the, uh, no. like a foldable chair off the roof. And Morgan Wallen or some shit. They locked it his ass like and, 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 and it's a felony. Whatever they charge him with is a felony. So shit. Damn. Damn. He can't fly out the that. country. And stuff. <laughs> he needed that to boost his, his boost his image real quick. Hey, uh, uh, I'm a real southern boy. Who we roasting today, man? I throw chairs off the motherfucking roof. I don't know. We Crazy. got uh, God. Damn, we need to get some motherfucking theme music when I start roasting motherfuckers too. Hold on, man. I think I'm gonna be like uh, head ass or some shit. Hey, <laughs> uh, look at <laughs> dumb, 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 dumb ass. All right, oh, first on the chopping block, <laughs> shit. We was just talking about that ass, man. Y'all gotta. I need y'all to look at the pictures in the damn group chat, man, so it can make more sense when y'all hand this shit. Man, got group we gotta get my man, brother a damn picture, man. Damn, but we got oh, Justin man, Bieber. Pictures, man. We got Justin Bieber and motherfucking uh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Jaden sure. Smith, man, they right there, freaky as hell, like he whispering into his ears. I left the oven on, Daddy. <laughs> Meatball head ass, they freaky as hell. What the fuck they was at? They was at a motherfucking tap dance convention, ugly ass song. They freaky as hell. Justin Bieber, like he did consent to it, but then when he saw who it was, he was thought about Will Smith smacking his ass if he didn't consent to the rest of the uh, the act. Freaky as hell, bro. They, and then Buddy ass looking on the side too. You can't believe that <laughs> shit. His ass said, "What the fuck is that motherfucking Tom Cruise and goddamn." 
Chad and Tatum, ugly ass song, but they had Bogus L. J. Smith. <laughs> what the fuck is you doing, but them stunts and Karate Kid fucked your brain up, shorty. Your ass out here losing your mind. You just humped this <laughs> middle aged Ellen DeGeneres looking ass motherfucker right here in front of all these people, bro. Huh, we got Uzi at. What the fuck is he on? His ass <laughs> tweaking, bro. <laughs> God damn. Look at this shit. Oh, my <laughs> motherfucking God. Look, just like you. Motherfucker. <laughs> Hell no, nah, it's that like a satanic sorcerer named Gwyneth. The ugly ass song. It's that freaky as hell. What the fuck he did to his head? I'm like, I am not my hair. Andy Ire looking at freaky as hell. It's that bogus as hell. It's that that bitch praising Satan. His ass Vogue. And I'm like, Vogue and freaky gothic bowling instructor looking at. I'm like, it's that bogus as hell. It's that I don't know. Sheep sheer skin jacket. Freaky ass <laughs> on. His ass throwing up. Peace. I had to zoom in on. I zoomed in on my shit. His look ass wild as hell, shorty. His ass like a gothic clown. His ass like his ass make. His ass make demonic sex dolls in his basement. Ugly ass song, boy. I'm like his ass. Pray to he said read the Bible backwards. Ugly ass. Hey, he this nigga right here. I'm tired of his ass. Look at his, belt. Look at his belt. I done left his ass alone. I'm tired of this nigga right here, man. The nigga JP. Hey. Well, if find hey, this nigga, y'all find this nigga. Yeah, I got G. I'm tired of his ass. His ass like a middle aged villain. His ass look evil as hell. His ass like he steal from orphans. I'm alive. His ass look like he stole the sorcerer stone. He bogus as hell. I'm tired of his ass. His ass look like if Kermit the Frog got a gun. Ugly ass song. Meatball head ass song. Like his ass. When squirrels die, they souls come to him to get judged. Ugly ass song. Fat head ass ass. He hamster food for fun. He just do that shit. He buy hamster food. He don't got a hamster. He make hamster food sandwiches. Ugly ass song. I'm J. JP. JP stands for just playing. I'm just playing with this song. I'm glad song. I'm tired of that word. Somebody need to beat his ass. Damn. I'm tired of that song, so I swear Somebody to need to beat his ass. Damn. That's crazy. Beat his ass. Mickle 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 Hey, hey, no. hey, what the <laughs> fuck? Hey, what the fuck? Hey, who we got in the building, man? We got the mayor in the building. Oh, yeah. the mayor. Damn. Lori, Lori Lightfoot. Lori Lightfoot in the building. We got Lori Lightfoot, man. We got Lori in this bitch. Hey, you know we have to uh, get you back on the show. I heard you got a new job, man. What's going on? Yes, yes, yes. I am pissed. I got a new job. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm happy as here. I'm out of Chicago now. They got me they paying me $400 an hour Damn. To, to investigate this case. Damn. So, four times is four times. That's 15 million. I'm back, bitch. Damn, 15 million dollars. <laughs> Damn, what they paying you for? Who you investigating? Oh, the mayor and the Dalton. Well, the Dalton. Oh, the one that been stealing, stealing all the money? money allegedly. Vegas, you yeah. Know what I'm High trips and planes and all. She's stealing everybody's money. I already got all the evidence already. She's going to jail. Yeah, <laughs> how they end up like getting your number? Who gave them your number? Oh, oh, oh. They say, oh, you know, um, you know, I've been just just putting out applications for everybody out of Chicago fired me <laughs> and shit. So uh Burger King they hired me, so I guess they called me and they told me when we you know I'm back in my lawyer shit too though. So I'm back doing my lawyer stuff, so they called me to investigate her right now. And I just seen everything in my phone that she been doing. She been having fraud for everything. And then they say she is stealing money from them from nineteen ninety nine. She ain't even been in ninety nine. <laughs> And then she turned around and went to Vegas off their money. First class, too. First class with all 14 her friends, her besties, or her baddies. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and, um, I got everything on her and that thing, you know. They even taking her police cars from her. Damn. Damn. Yeah, she had a police car? Yeah, she know. I mean, the police cars. She she got the, you know the, the dealer gave them brand new cars and everything. She not she, paying. She not she paying, paying the dealer. She ain't paying shit. Damn. She is out here doing. And then she got a nerve to play with them. When they ask her questions about how she been in Vegas and everything, and she just sitting there looking crazy as hell, like she is so corrupted. I'm finna send her ass to co- I could trash. I get hey, done with her. People, a lot of people don't know you used to be a federal prosecutor, so Lori gonna get to the bottom of it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm definitely here because I ain't got no damn. I'm the last job I had in Chicago. They fired me for not, you know, being ghetto enough. So I guess, hey, you know, I'm here now, and I'm finna send her to jail. Why don't you finna open a barbershop on Madison or something? Yeah, Madison. Uh, what's the name? Uh, Racine right now though. Okay. But we doing our thing. Okay. Lori is back though, so y'all Four, know. Four hundred. They paying you four hundred dollars an hour. Boys, raspy as hell. Four hundred dollars an hour. What's the investigation? This, this, this investigation. I got like. Uh, 94 hours in it already. <laughs> <laughs> so you add that up. Lori is back, bitch. Yeah, so what, what you hope happened to the mayor? Um, I mean, I just hope she's go to jail because like you playing with the people money, city people money. People work hard for what they do for their city, you know. And just like I was just not being a good mayor and, and, and it really wasn't even looked at really. You know, people didn't give me enough time to do what I want to do for Chicago. And now y'all got everybody over here doing what they want to do. So I'm gone, man. I thank y'all, man. 
<laughs> See y'all in Dalton. <laughs> So, <laughs> man, you didn't even steal no money. You ain't get a chance to stay, man. How you think uh, Mayor Johnson's doing? Oh, Brandon, Brandon Johnson? Yeah. Oh, they call him shit Johnson. He ain't did shit yet. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga ain't did shit, but bro, people over here that didn't have no problem bringing over here. He ain't even people read think about us first, that people that needed uh, needed them little checks and all them little houses and welfare. He just brought everybody from over here from Afghanistan and all type of stuff and just dropped them off here. <laughs> so what, so Afghanistan is crazy. What you would have did uh, uh, when the when the, when the uh, governor from Texas called and said he was sending the migrants over here? Oh, what, what I would have did, I, I, I would have I, I, I would have been on some Trump shit. I would have built a wall around here, <laughs> <laughs> wall around Chicago. You know what I'm saying? The whole Chicago, the whole just like Chicago. the South Side and the West Side. No, I would have did the whole Chicago because you know, it, I mean, I ain't got no problem with the people, but we all we are, we need help ourselves right now to be worried about anybody else. Yeah, oh, that's what's up, man. Nobody got no questions for the man. <coughs> hey, open that back door, Chris. You said back door me. <laughs> 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 that's oh. crazy. Oh, I don't know. Oh man. I don't know, man. I don't know. If you, go, you get elected, you what know. would you do first? If you get reelected in Chicago, what you would do first? Uh, we'll have fifties and parties all night. <laughs> Fifty potholes. If I said fifties, what about the potholes? Hey, I done yeah, heard the your ass. Wait, 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 why the last nine made it fifty potholes? Why, why, why leave it to me that's now? That's fucked up. See, that's why we ain't vote for your ass last time. You dodge questions and shit. Fat head ass. <laughs> <laughs> Funny you as think hell. you think he'll hire you? I mean, Trump was cool, but I already said to him, so I, th- I don't he know. Did used to be talk- <laughs> he did used to be talking a lot of shit about you. Yeah, because, you know, he wanted to hit, but I just, I, I was trying to hit my damn self. Wait, hit. huh? Yeah, what you, what you mean? He wanted to hit, but I, I wanted to hit myself. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my beautiful wife at home, you know what I'm saying? Even though, you know what I'm saying? She ain't nothing wrong, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Well, we appreciate you coming through, Lori, man. You might as well just stick around for the rest of the podcast, hey, man. Thank you. Hey, shit, I ain't going nowhere. All right, all right, hey, we man. fuck with you, TT. <laughs> I need two more to get done. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, man. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, look, man. T. Sims, you know, you uh, we linked up with you earlier this week. You know what I'm saying? You had a lot of stuff going on. Uh, you know, we been, we been – it's funny because people think, again, like the, the way stuff looks sometimes ain't the way it really is, right? No, nah, fact. Because we have been, uh, we have been talking about you coming over here for a while. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, fact. So, Beezy, I know Beezy been telling me like you know uh, T Sims finna come through, especially like we just learned like Adobe Premiere, and he been telling me like two months ago, yeah, T Sims finna he, he finna get over here eventually. He gonna fuck with us on the color grading, like teaches like some of the Adobe stuff, and right. and then uh, you know the situation happened with with dude you used to work with before, and and uh, I posted a picture of you here, yeah, in the day kind of like the day after you made a post or whatever, so yeah. I know it probably seemed like you know what I'm saying, like, yeah, because people try to say like I don't know like oh we was clicking up and stuff like that, but it ain't I never like that because I ain't never had no. Like bad vibes with BZ, like even after he stopped working with other people and stuff like that. You know, we always, you know, stay connected, you know, always, you know, coming up on videos and stuff like that. Oh, so man. it was like, I don't want, you know, like people to get that type of, you know, uh, shit, like persona, like, you know, I'm coming over here not just because I left from, you know, like working with somebody else, like shit. I've been supposed to came over here, but it was like shit. Yep. I mean, really couldn't find time to really, you know, like slide over here. Yeah, shit. yeah. And then how I feel as a person is like, shit, if I'm going to come through, I want to like, you know, like help somebody out because I know you. I mean, he always said it was just like open doors for me and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. I know like, I mean, like y'all got a lot to bring to the table here, you know, and I want to be the, you know, like bring the same amount of stuff that, you know, like I y'all bring it to the table. And I'm going to bring it to the table. So it won't be like, you know, like nobody helping nobody sure. else out. You yeah. know, like we both mm-hmm. helping each other out type shit. Yeah. And I, I would give you a problem because I said, like, I seen your work and I see what you've been doing. Like, like you putting work out here, you putting like movies out here. So like, it's nah, like I, everything you do is, is, is we, we love you over here and it's appreciated over here. You know what I'm saying? So ain't no big ass, big you. Like I say to everybody all the time, we not a tool with nobody. We not in, in beef nah, with nobody. We, 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 all we doing is working and love each other. You know what I'm saying? And keep, keep it going. That's all. Nah, facts, facts. Sure. Mm-hmm. Facts. Beasy, <laughs> what up, man? <laughs> you know, like we spoke, we spoke on it a little earlier, but uh, I mean, now that you had some time to reflect, you know, and there's a few, 
it was like a little like a little hurricane came through a little tornado came through and just shit was just flying everywhere you know what right. i'm saying and now the tornado left and the wreckage is on you know what i'm saying on both sides like they took some shots at you you took some shots back so how you feel now that you got like a Man. few days to reflect on everything uh i feel better about everything i i i feel better about me about like just me just speaking on like what I want to speak on, what I've been trying to speak on, but like nobody really said nothing about me. I was just waiting on somebody to say something. But Thanks. but the only thing is, like people was texting me and inboxing me like, damn, you woke up choosing violence today. You woke up, you you on some violence. No, I'm not. I just woke up and I choose to defend myself. You know what I'm saying? It, mm-hmm. I suppose Ben spoke up a long time ago, like when motherfuckers was playing with my name and just saying this and saying that, but I, I never did. And you see what that see what that shit it gets you. If you don't speak up, sometimes shit, motherfuckers gonna think you 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 a bitch, oh, bro. Uh, facts, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh, well, you, you about the life and everything, but you did, yeah. right, though. And then yeah. it, like like you said, Dre, before, <coughs> and you you was just saying this in general. It wasn't about nobody. You was like, shit, an unchecked lie becomes the truth after a while. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Facts. And you gotta like, <clears throat> you know, I, I just shit, motherfuckers spoke on me, and I spoke on them. And, and I I am a troll king. I do like the troll. I haven't done it in a while, but you know what I'm saying. But like, mm. and then I uh, like some people gotta stop like uh, just because you ain't say nobody name don't mean that like you ain't sneak this in somebody. So yeah. it's like you know like shit. If you want to move some past some like shit, just stop talking about you know everybody like shit. Just motherfuckers go their separate ways and shit like that. But it's just like. You know, like, uh, like people be having like bigger platforms, and then it's like, shit. You know, it could be, uh, potentially fuck with your business if motherfuckers just out here lying. You know, like, For sure. if we just leave the lies unchecked, type shit. Yeah. Like. And if, if anybody want to come in and say anything, or you know, everybody, nah, everybody facts. Welcome, everybody facts. Welcome. Like, we and y'all always have open doors for people and shit. Now. We not, we not like, like we not blocking nobody coming in them doors. Our doors been open ever since we, you know, when Dre started this. Like, like we not, and like I said. We we were out to hear everybody's story. Everybody come in and you know if you, you want to something topic you want to put us a topic or something we can do all that. Ah, uh, facts, facts, yeah. facts. Yeah, cause that's my main thing. Like even like coming to sit down with y'all, even had this conversation like shit, like shit, just on a positive aspect. I don't know. I just be on some positive shit like so much, that's and it be like yeah. I don't know, like shit. I don't even want to bash motherfuckers, but I'm just I ain't for I ain't for let nobody like talk crazy about me or none of that shit like. Oh, Shit, bro. I'm gonna stand behind my name and just like people know me, like bro, like people right. know my work ethic. Like I don't say nothing, bro. I just really I go to work, like oh, bro. Bro, stay like, out the way, like, go to work. Yeah, you know, do what you gotta do, bro. Like, yeah, facts. In these past days, that's all I've been doing. Like even after the fact, like still working. Like it ain't yeah. gonna change the fact. You know, ain't gonna stop what I'm doing. You know, still working with people and stuff like that. So the right way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, and, <laughs> and and like we said uh, before, because it was the discussion. Uh, some people have reached out talking about like they they might be willing to come on the podcast and have a conversation about everything yeah. and you know obviously we all had a discussion as a group of how everybody felt and you know one thing that like we was like for sure about was like uh we can't allow any disrespect and us included we can't have somebody come and we get the disrespect in them and oh, like, facts, if, facts, it's, facts. if it's that like if you can't control yourself then let's not even do it you know nah, what I'm facts. saying? Because if we if we got, because this should be an open platform for for everybody. Even if it's yeah. just a disagreement, even if it was like some stuff said on both sides, like you know, because uh, a lot of times when when there's like arguments, there's people hurt on both sides. It, it might have been a little bit of wrong on both sides, yeah. but we should be able to talk it out and afterwards, like you know, get a better understanding. That don't mean it's gonna be like all oh, we gonna be all friendly or whatever. But at least we got a better understanding. You know, ain't no further disagreement like you said you might just go your way i'll go my way or you know it could be open to work together but uh we here this is an open welcome safe space for everybody bro this is what i always wanted wanted to be you know what i'm saying yeah, facts. i don't want it to be like uh we just over here just slinging mud at, on people's name and oh, facts. yeah so I, I really appreciate you coming bro and i know you got I know you got a following. Like I, I, I've been following your work, even though I ain't, like I said, I didn't even know what you look like. 
Okay. Till you know I met you, you know what I'm saying. So, and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that are gonna be happy to be able to put a face to the work. You know what I'm saying? Nah, like, fact, oh, that's fact, these fact. Sims. Like they yeah. never seen you before. You nah, know what for saying? sure. Cause I definitely be behind the camera. All Real the time. legend in this motherfucker. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't even sure. knew it. And that's the thing, like us guys, uh, editors. You know what I'm saying? Directors and stuff. We behind the camera, cameraman. Like we don't, we we really don't get appreciated. Nah, um, facts. for the the hard work we put put in. Like you know some. Like if if it's a skit or if it's like some filming, they just gotta do their role. Just you know, what I'm saying, act. We gotta direct. We gotta light. You know, we gotta make sure the shit look good. We gotta color that shit. We gotta put it put uh, make sure if if we put an audio on there, we gotta match all that shit up, bro. Like we all gotta right. do a lot like behind this this editing shit, and for people to just we do the work and then send it off and they just post it and they get all the glory, which is cool. You know what I'm saying? But it's like we be behind that shit and we 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 don't get appreciated enough for that shit so yeah yeah for sure because i be feeling like in some situations like should i begin more like you know like being more appreciative to the people who i ain't even doing nothing for than you know like the people you working with and stuff like that and that'd be the main thing just trying to make sure you you know like yo like bro just make sure your content creators good like the right. people who helping you like just make sure they good like shit and real life happy at the end of the day for like even if you yeah. you know got a heavy like, all right. So like, even if you working on a daily, just make sure like, they happy like shit. And then like, don't make nobody feel less of a you know right. It, oh, like, bro. cause there been so many times people say like, man, I'll fire you or something like that. And you be like, bro, like shit, like yeah. nigga, like like shit, like do you need me or you don't like type shit. Right for sure. And then it be motherfucker, it give you the vibes like they don't need you, and it be like, damn, so why I'm here type shit. But then he'd be like, you know, like closed doors, people be like, yeah, if I need you type shit. And he'd be oh, like, bro. damn. So like, what's up? But it's just like, I don't know. So. Yeah. I, I think every every successful person, bro, like even though you might just see them, they got a whole, they got people around them, you know what I'm saying, that, that's, a, that's, that's part of their success. Yeah. And and they probably they probably treat them people good. You know, why no, do people fact. stay around? Because I know it's people that even like, just because you paying them doesn't mean, you know, you you above them. You know what I'm saying? No, like, facts, facts. you still, we all still, like, that's why I appreciate everybody that, that work with me, bro. No, I really sure. appreciate it, but I appreciate all these brothers right here, like, because they don't have to. And I know they don't, if they really, they don't need to work with me. You know what no, I'm saying? Facts. They all talented enough to go find their own way or do other things on their own. So, I, I, I'm, I'm always super grateful, bro, and it's just people just... You know, our platform is rather small when you compare it to other people. But to me, like, yeah. it, it still has, in my eyes, this platform is just as valuable as the dude that's getting four or five million views. You know what I'm saying? Nah, like, facts. we just getting this thing started. And, you know, we making our presence feel, bro. Like, we here. You know what I'm saying? Nah, On me. Bro. Fuck you talking about. Fuck. I love what y'all doing. Fuck you talking about. I was, I, was, <laughs> I was being quiet because I wanted y'all to, you feel me? But, yeah, nah, like facts. he said, fuck you talking about. all <laughs> shit busting. It's that shit. <laughs> hell, hell, yeah. Bro. And it's clean as hell, man. I ain't going to lie, folks. I don't even need to be seeing too many podcasts, big podcasts with the type of quality and shit like that. Even with, sure. with the mics, the lighting and shit like that, bro. Y'all got diffusion, like all type of shit, bro. Like they not. We got me. real live professionals behind yeah, the production yeah, side. Like real live professionals. <laughs> hey, stop man, playing. Shout out, my mind. Shout out, guys. Mike, bro, like, they got some our lighting guy, Mike equipment. Hammer, bro. He be around real like movie sets, real commercial sets, like not corporate sure. shit. He's on a not dark night. Sure. He, did the, he <laughs> did the lighting for the dark night. Then my homie Rob, my, that's Rob. He's the one that t taught me how to start working with the camera. He a professional. He does like all raw ass commercial work, nah, corporate sure. type. He shot that videos, scene bro. in Hardball when G Baby got shot. <laughs> and he did my first video too. Nah, for sure. Yeah, so oh, we got real crazy, people, bro. man. You know, we got you know Dre, Chris. They like young youngsters of, of, the, of the squad, bro. Everybody play a small role. You know what I'm saying, oh, bro? Fact, that's 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 you. That's they right. know I'm team for real. Niggas be motherfucker be forgetting that shit. Motherfucker get a nah, big ass sure, platform bro. and forget. They're, you're a cameraman or your editor. That's who really. That's part of. That's part of you. People yeah. feel like that they whole identity now, but part of who you is as a creator for the social media is the motherfucker that's helping edit your shit. Yeah, because you that, that's what bro. add the funny to your content as well. The editing, the motherfuckers who will put a little joke in your shit. All that shit matter. You ain't just the the character itself, motherfucker. Hey, look when 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 I started working with Izzo, I, I no no bullshit, bro. I, I probably had like forty nine followers on my Instagram page, yeah. and he already had like a little. Uh, he had a fan base. Yeah. He had like, 
I'm looking at like, damn, bro, you got 11K followers on Instagram. <laughs> damn, you famous. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> and, and you know, like, he was already working. He had worked like with Billy, Billy Cox, what's dude's name? Oh, yeah, uh, uh, for Billy Knox and shit. Yeah, yeah him, he had already yeah, shot Billy with Cox. him before. And, uh, you know, this other dude that was already like clouded up cameramans, you know what I'm saying? Nah, for sure. And you know, I was just like, man, like, let's build, bro. Like, you know, you got them. I know them dudes ain't cheap, you know what I'm saying? No, nah, fact. Like, let me shoot your stuff, bro. Like, and you know, I'm gonna get better. You gonna get more, more, more content out, and and let's build and shit. Here we are, you know. What four years later, five years later? Fuck you, five years later. No. Fuck <laughs> you, Zeb. When I was starting my rap career, now I gotta do this comedy shit. I now I don't do rap. Now I don't shoot. I don't shoot music videos no, no more. Fuck <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah but hey, like you, you said, bro, like we got this, we we got open doors to all creators, bro, in the city, man. We got a space right here. Let's work, let's let's do some uh, let's do some special things, man. Let's get let's put ourselves on the map. You know what I'm saying? Like the right. whole city, bro. We got some talent here, bro. Oh, bro. bro, like real life though, like just people coming down and sit down, like. It's just relationships, bro, because y'all can help people take their stuff to a next level, too, bro. Like, people sleeping on, like, what's, you know, what like, what y'all yeah. got for real, folks. Yeah. And Ain't then it. it's, like, it's with the youth, bro. Like, you know, that like you can come help the youth, bro. Just, yeah. shit, just walking through here with some youth in here or something like that. Ain't no problem, but, I mean, shit. And, and they, could, they could even help us reach more youth because nah, sure. the youngsters watching these dudes that's out here already, like, got a platform, you know what I'm saying? So if they, like, damn, like, look. They be like working with Love City too. I want to. I want to be part of the youth program. You know what I'm saying? Nah, and for it, sure, folks. And then on the flip side, we give them like top quality production, and nah, it's like sure. a win win for everybody. Nah, for so sure. I think we we just got to get like the egos out the way. Nah, for sure. Uh, yeah. It's stop. just a conversation. That's how I be yeah. feeling like, bro. One conversation on the phone can solve so much. You know, but I mean, like, I I ain't gonna say that because people have said the same thing about me. You know, like why I took it that way, but it's just. You know, like shit, like certain shit do gotta go that way, but it's like, you know, I feel like even afterwards, I feel like I wish I would have did it differently. But at the same time, it's like I gotta get, you know, something out there for the people. So shit, the truth out there for the people, cause people just gonna lie and stuff like that. So yeah, but I mean, shit, stop yeah. the violence for real though. I don't want <laughs> nobody hurt. I don't want nobody, you for know, real, getting though. shot at over no, you know, stupid stuff. You yeah. know, so. Right, shit, stop the violence and you know just keep working yeah. do good business stop, and stop do good playing. business you know busy how we wrapping this thing stop up, man? playing with people man shit sure. uh <laughs> shit the quiet ones at it's that so, too. yeah yeah stop playing with people you know <laughs> what i'm saying everybody just do right by each other you know pay your people you're supposed to pay you know what i'm saying you got some work to do make sure that work is done you All know facts. what i'm saying uh uh but for the for this podcast uh we want to get back on track and like that t- today was my last time promise speaking on speaking on that shit on on this platform now my instagram and my face that's a different fucking story <laughs> that's a different story but today yeah that, that stola no, facts. did facts, i say it right, right. Uh, that stola up. that mean last <laughs> that mean that it no that's it that stola that's it man we up out of here man get out there Special <laughs> 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 Love City, I don't know who you shooting with.